Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're going to make the 315 Beatdown. You can't handle the fruit! <laughs> Where'd that come from? I was trying to be tough. <laughs> Think we owe Jack Nicholson $5 for saying that? Uh, no, that's maybe. his line, you know. Yeah, I know that's his line. <laughs> What's his best line, do you think? God, he's got so many good ones. Is that one from... Here's yeah, that's what Johnny! I was thinking. <laughs> you know that was filmed on uh, Timberline Lodge in Oregon, Mount Hood. Mm-hmm. You knew that? Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. I was watching it on TV, and they, sometimes they have like the little TV notes or the movie notes on the bottom. Oh, yeah. yeah, so that's why I knew that. Yeah. That was a great show. <laughs> well, this is named such because... Well, if you, there's a bully that wants to beat you up, they'd say, like, you and me, 315 after school in yeah, the playground. Right. <laughs> Never you heard the word 315, it means, like, all right, I'm calling home sick. I'm going to be out here by 2.30. Right. And this has got, like, a really dark red kind of blood yeah. color to it. So It looks like you beat the pulp out of somebody, right? <laughs> but it's also, you know, we're having a little fun with the puns because it actually has beets in it. That's why it has the red color. So... Got it. Yeah, we actually use a uh, tequila. We're using uh, Don Julio here. Yep. And uh, then we've got our beet juice. And we actually make our own beet juice. So you can get some store-bought, but uh, you can watch our video, see how to do that. Yep. Typically, we use the store-bought in this jar, mm -hmm. which is just as good as the kind we make. Yeah. But we just made some, so we're trying to use it up. Exactly. Yeah, and it is a margarita. It's got the tequila and everything. We got the beet juice, we got the agave nectar, and we got the lime juice. Yeah, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right, let's begin. Let's make it. We're going to start with two ounces of tequila. This is nice because from the beet you have a little sweetness, but then you have that sort of kind of beady, beady sourness, yeah. right? Yeah, and it's got this uh, just this freshness that yeah. comes out of nowhere, basically. So This drink, when you look at it, it doesn't look like it's going to be... Fresh, because it's kind of a light drink, despite being so dark Colorful, colored, right? right? Yeah. Does that make any sense? That does make a lot of sense. One ounce of beet juice. Three fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> See, when I was in grade school, my sister was a year younger than me, Paula, and she would always like stick up for me. She would fight my fights, you know. All right. Agave nectar, three quarter ounce. I'm gonna do a half ounce of lime juice. That's I'm surprised you're admitting because, to that. That's because my <laughs> folks went to Texas once and came back with this really expensive leather jacket that had like all these little frilly things up and down both arms and I wore it and people got made fun of. That's hilarious. Yeah, you know, hilarious for you. That's just like my uh, Converse All-Stars that I had, which were like bright orange. Oh yeah? Which these days, those would be really cool, those, but yeah, back then, now. I got made fun of for those. Did you pick them out? No, my mom made me wear them. <laughs> <laughs> Which I wish I would have hung on to them. Cause, yeah. yeah. All right. There we go. Nice. We'll shake this up. Ah. can't have too many of these, otherwise you start, like, changing the <laughs> color of the toilet bowl, if you know what I mean. Oh, Lord. It's very bright red. It's beautiful, and it tastes delicious. Mm -hmm. You can garnish this with a beet slice. Um, typically, we do a lime wheel, just because the contrast in color, I think, is nice. Definitely, but if you want to have a lot of fun at, like, a Halloween party or something like that, yeah. just with the color and the look of the drink... Uh, especially if you got a vampire costume on. Yeah. You could use any kind of garnish that would work great with that. And like I've said before, with some of our other beet cocktails, like the beatnik mm -hmm. and the garden party, I'm not a big beet fan, but in this drink in particular, yeah. it's just delicious. So enjoy the 315 Smackdown. What did we call this thing? The beatdown. The beatdown. Oh, of course. <laughs> it's a beat. So if you're looking for a fight, have this one. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> 